Now, you may be wondering, why are we so interested in having a floppy now, all of a sudden, with the USB? Well, the answer is, over here, we have the Roland disc that came with the XP80. And uh, maybe we would like to have that accessible as a virtual floppy. So, putting that in there, let's see what happens. Now, bear in mind, this is going to be a separate, altogether different. So let's look at my computer. And there's the floppy. It comes up as a floppy. It's reading it, and here are all the files. These are all the files, including, you know, the stuff that the uh, Roland operating system uses to make sense out of it all. So, I'm just going to drag these, and I'm going to drop them. And now, they're being written <laughs> over to my virtual floppy image on the USB key. There you have it. You're watching the old data transferring to the new. Kind of like watching the old Tron and the new Tron all at the same time. All right, so that has been copied over. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to push this out of the way. This is now virtual floppy A. Okay? All right, so far so good. Now we go back over here and we change this to look at floppy image 1. And you'll see that floppy image 1 is empty. Okay, great. So, let's take this real disk and eject it. Let me get that, put it aside. And I'm going to take the other XP80 disk that came with it. This is what they call the dance kit. When I was on the road back in my youth in the late 80s and my MC500 use these discs, I would always be making backups because inevitably sooner or later the disc would die. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of stuff you shouldn't have to worry about anymore. Okay, the new disc is in, so we do the modern day refresh. It rereads the disc. And there's Dance Kit, SQB, and all the other stuff that makes up the second floppy disc. I'm going to select it all. It's interesting to note too that when you're dealing with, you know, reading the owner's manuals and stuff for this, they're telling you that the Roland supplied system disks cannot be copied. So if you were to try and copy the, these from floppy to floppy, your uh, Roland product wouldn't allow you to. But uh, here we're we're essentially hacking the entire system using. Uh, 21st century technology that was not in existence in 1995 when these guys were made. So, you know, just all part of the, the fun of progress, I suppose. So, once again, see the data traveling from the old to the new. And there we are. That floppy drive image has now been updated. Pretty neat, huh?